Alrighty, welcome back. We are joined by our very own Bob Hallmark. He is live at a cooling center out in Longview right now. Bob, how's it looking out there? Uh, well, this is the Longview Library. So this is the actual cooling center for the city of Longview. There are numerous uh, centers around the area out here. Uh, right now, we do have some people trickling in. As we all know that uh, so many people are without power right now. Uh, and we're getting into the uh, 90 degree temperatures during the day. It's essential for uh, people to have places like this to be able to, to actually come. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's actually come through and, uh, uh, you know, cool off. A lot of people I'm told by uh, the uh, staff here at the library uh, are coming in to actually recharge their devices because they don't have power, obviously. Uh, so that's uh, essentially what we're doing. You can see over my shoulder right here, we have uh, quite a number of uh, folks that have come in. Uh, not all of them coming in to uh, get out of the heat. Uh, some of them just regular visitors to the library. Uh, but essentially that's where we are at this point. Now, uh, the library and the cooling center will be open every night until nine o'clock for those who want to come in and get out of the heat. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, take care of themselves so that they don't uh, you know, suffer heat exhaustion or heat stroke out there, uh, particularly in homes uh, that superheat uh, during the middle and afternoons. Uh, so at, at this point, uh, we do see uh, some folks that are taking advantage of it uh, and making the smart decision to come in out of the heat, cool off for a little while, and, uh, you know, there's no time limit. They can stay as long as they want. Is there anything people need to do in order to access the Longview Public Library Cooling Center? Do they need to show proof that they live in Longview or anything like that, or can anyone come? Actually, it's anyone. There's uh, no restriction on this. Uh, you simply uh, come in. Uh, they are offering it as a haven for those who want to come in out of the heat. Uh, so there's no restrictions here, uh, no checking of IDs or anything like that. Uh, uh, there's no questions asked. Uh, you, you're more than welcome to come in just to uh, cool yourself off for a while. Alrighty, perfect. Bob, are we going to be seeing this story anywhere else uh, today? Or are you working on any other story for the six o'clock news or anything? Just want to let our viewers know where they can find more. Oh, yeah. Well, this, yeah, this will be, uh, uh, I'm sure uh, we'll have something more on this uh, for our uh, KLTV news at six, to, uh, possibly 10. Also, we'll be uh, having some extensive uh, stories on the balloon races, which happened today, uh, and also some uh, glade water uh, storm damage, uh, which kind of overlooked. We, uh, we They kind of slipped, slipped through the cracks. Uh, but they are still trying to recover from uh, all of the storms as well. Alrighty, perfect. Well, thank you so much once again, Bob Hallmark, uh, at the Longview Public Library, which is now a cooling center until 9 o'clock tonight. Bob, you stay safe out there. All right, thank you. Alrighty, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other cooling centers that are being offered right now. And then we'll get back to President Biden. Here we go. Ben Wheeler Fire and Rescue is a cooling center right now. You can charge your phone on location. Dangerfield Church of Christ uh, is also going to be a uh, cooling center until that's supposed to be 10 p.m., I believe. Uh, breakfast is offered as well with, as um, charging stations and electronics. Gilmore Civic Center is open until 7 p.m. They have water and MREs. You're also going to be able to charge your phone out there. Hawkins Fire Department is open all day. They have lunch and uh, at the city park, one case of water and 20 pounds of ice are available per household per day. And staff can also deliver food, water, and ice upon request to those in need. You just go ahead and call that number. Now, Jefferson Visitor Center is open tonight until 5 o'clock and tomorrow from 8 to 5. And Kilgore First Baptist Church of Danville is open until late tonight. Water, tea, and lemonade are available. And as I said, there are just plenty of cooling centers. If you don't have one near you, you can always find the closest one to you. you can